right. So at about 6.30 this evening, a vehicle was driving eastbound in the 6400 block of Parkside Avenue. Uh, the individual driving the vehicle was unable to maneuver uh, the bend in the road. Unfortunately, he had uh, jumped over the curb and there were two innocent bystanders that were, that were walking to their home uh, on Parkside. And both of them were struck by the vehicle and sadly one of them has passed away at the scene. The other victim has been transported to a local hospital for very severe treatment injuries. Are the victims male, female? Do you have a population? We have one male victim, approximately 67 years old, one female victim, approximately 55 years old. Uh, the male has passed away. Do we know if this was a married couple? No, do not know if it's a married couple. And she was transported to Mercy Hospital? She is transported to Mercy Hospital where she's undergoing treatment right now. Did that was the, the worst interview ever. No, not over with. No, really we're, we're, we're not over with. Yeah, we're not over with. I heard so, uh, she was transferred to Mercy, then uh, re-transferred to UCSD. That's what I heard from the uh, fire. I can't confirm that, sorry. Yeah, so did the driver attempt to flee and you were able to capture him? The, the driver of the vehicle had attempted to flee the area. Uh, citizens were directing officers who made contact with him. He was subsequently taken into custody, positively ident identified as the driver of the vehicle, so he is currently under arrest. Does he appear to be under the influence of anything? The, the driver, based on from what the witnesses were saying, appeared to be very erratic, so there's a strong possibility he was under the influence. And the road will be closed for several hours, ma'am? Yes, the uh, 6400 block of Parkside will be will be shut down for several hours. Um, 
Yeah, what's it, you get citizens who are helping out in this case. I mean, they're always vital investigations, but what's it like when you get them at a scene like this, and how important were they in apprehending this crash? Any time the citizens are witnessing or they heard the crash, it is hugely important that they cooperate with law enforcement because as they saw the driver of the vehicle fleeing, they were able to put that information out through our 911 system, which then that was transferred. I can't even answer a bloody question. Don't worry about Good. it. We can start again. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so again. <laughs> Anytime a citizen. Yeah. So, so whenever a citizen witnesses this type of accident or crime, it's very, very important that we hear from them, that they get on the phone with 911, because that helps direct the officers to to get to the scene quicker and to in case this person who was leaving the scene, citizens were um, very helpful at pointing out where he was going. Officers were able to make contact and where he was subsequently detained and then positively identified by a citizen. So, Do we know if he lives in the area and was running to his house or anything? Don't know if the suspect who's been detained lives in the area or not. Okay. And uh, there's one final question. Go ahead. About is the speed of I mean, you mentioned you know, looking at the exact erratic, but how about speed? And it's too early in the, in the investigation to determine if speed was a factor. I do know that at the point where the impact happened, there was a slight bend in the road, and the driver was unable to maneuver that. Uh, and then he just crossed over onto the sidewalk, and unfortunately, those two innocent bystanders were tragically hit. What kind of vehicle was it? It's a black Dodge Ram vehicle. Anything you'd like to add, man? No, I just edit the tar out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you did fine. Thank you for your time. Oh, did we get your name? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. asking. Hold on, guys. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I knew there was like one there thing. There's one thing, yeah. There's always one thing. Okay. So hold on one second. Yeah. Right, I'm ready if anyone else is. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, ma'am, if you could, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Jane Doe. <laughs> <laughs> It's Misty, M-I-S-T-Y, Cedrin, C-E-D-R-U-N. And you're? Lieutenant? With? San Diego Police Department. Thank you Thank so you much for your time, ma'am.